Hello and welcome. I'm not so sure on which channel I'm going to be putting this on yet. So, because um, it's completely off topic. So, excuse me. Anyway, um, what's the topic today? So, here's the problem. You live in the UK. They changed the rules and now um, knives that would have been legal in the past are now illegal um, for certain reasons. Um, I've got these knives. I, I, I generally don't carry anything with me, um, but we were on tour quite often and I like to have a little usable, sharp and easy to use. More importantly, one hand usable knife in my um, um, first aid kit. Um, I think it's really important that, that a knife that you're going to be needing in an emergency, especially, you can deal with um, with uh, with one hand. So these three were all essentially illegal and I had to leave them at home. And I'll show you what I mean. So these two have, are now legal, but this one still isn't. So the reason is, is because it locks. As you can see, you've got to push the little clip back and then you can go back and so you can open it in one hand, but you've got to, but you can't, bring it back. You've got to do this little latch thing. There's a name for it. So these two are exactly the same. But I so anyway, so from a UK perspective, these are illegal for uh, everything is legal. The, the, the length is fine. Everything's fine. But because it locks, it's not fine. Okay. These two were exactly the same. Lengthwise, although this one looks a bit imposing, actually, lengthwise, it's it's uh, fine. I would never carry this outside because it looks a little bit imposing. And this one is nice and small. Um, but again, both of these locked had exactly the same mechanism. But they've now been uh, reversibly um, fixed up. So what I mean by that is that because this is now not locking it is now legal so i would now feel a lot more comfortable to put this in the in the back of a rucksack or um, in a first aid kit and because i can now use them with one hand it means they're easy to use especially in emergency when you're trying to hold things with another hand so how is this done it's very simple these have the mechanism is very simple it's got like a spring-loaded little piece here so the moment it latches beyond that it clicks into place and it stops the blade from coming back and so all we've done really is I've put a washer in there I don't know if you can see that I'll use it the bigger one because you can see it better so there's a, a washer there and it keeps this spring-loaded piece here in place so where this one clips, this one doesn't. To do this is quite simple. You just undo all these screws and you replace, you put a washer here that is big enough to go over this. Now, the reason this is good is because if you ever leave the UK or ever go to a situation where you can use this, this is reversible. You've not ruined your knife. You just open it up again. You take the big washer out and you um, replace the old wee plastic washers and this clip is uh, released again and it'll do um, and it'll spring back into place and it becomes a locking knife again. And there was a couple of things I needed to watch out for. One was that the width, so there was washers here and this side. And what I, so this washer here is roughly the same width as the combination of the washers that were in there. I also put oil in between there and I made sure that it just about hits it there. So this, and then obviously I tightened it quite tight so that there's at least some resistance and it doesn't just completely fall on you. So the one thing, the one complaint that people have about this law about non-locking knives is that they are kind of dangerous for the user. Um, they can close up on you quite easily and essentially cut you. 
And so it is a stupid rule, it really is. Um, but it is a, a law nonetheless. So abide by it, don't be stupid, um, don't get caught out. Um, and that's why I like the, this way of doing it, because it means that um, it is reversible. There is also, as you can see here, the little washer, I don't know how clear it is. Basically, I just replaced one of the washers with one that's a little bit bigger, which then essentially goes over that piece. So what I was gonna do is quickly show you what it looks like and how quick it is to do. I need to get the right ones. You need a proper set of screwdrivers, obviously. The little star ones. Um, so that's the first piece out. Then I need one smaller for the wee ones. Uh, where is it? Oh, where did it go? Used it yesterday. Oh, here it is. I didn't take the um anyway, so that that is the whole mechanism. And as you can see, all we did was put this washer in which effectively pushes that down. It's a bit of a pain to try and reassemble, but it's not impossible. If I can do it, I think anybody can do it. This is an important piece, this is the backstop. So I'm gonna put this back in. It's a bit tricky the way I've done it now, but I'm being kind of quick about it. Ah, you see? Fiddly but doable. The better the knife is made, the um, more difficult this is to do because all the tolerances are are much tighter, if that makes any sense. I need to make sure this clips in. So make it quite tight so that there's some resistance here. But as you can see how easy that was to do. Anyway, that is it. Non-locking, locking. And if you don't make it too tight, it's actually fairly easy to operate in one hand. So I don't know yet in which um, channel I'm putting this on, but if you like this and you found it useful, please like and subscribe and look at all the other videos I made. Thank you very much.